comedians opening cards, no coffee. Come on, let's enter the temple. It's right up here. Come on in. <laughs> It's comedians opening cards, no coffee, and it's pre-show, and we got one more the comedian. Legend. Are gonna happen. Hello. And what is your name? I'm Danny Jordan. Danny Jordan, and how long have you been doing comedy? Uh, too long. Too long. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna make the joke. Uh, so <laughs> I don't know you well enough. Professional. So we got a bunch of cards. Uh, pick one out that looks interesting to you. Talk about it for as long or short as you want, and then uh, sign one for me, and you can keep the others if you so desire. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's let's go with the Home Alone Two card. Oh, nice, pretty popular. Because that is a franchise that I'm. A, oh, I should have gone with the Nicktoons cards. It doesn't matter. I'm already oh. opening them. Yeah. Uh, that's it's, a franchise I'm familiar. with. I don't with. know if the Trump I'm, card is in there or not. Oh my God, I hope there's. Because he Trump was card. in the movie. I mean. I'm here for the picture of Joe Pesci. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love yeah. Joe Pesci. We love uh, Joe Pesci covered in being tarred and feathered. Oh, that's kind of wackadoodle. We love um, Tim Curry, iconic. The only reason you would watch that film, if I'm being honest. I don't know who Tim Curry is. You don't know who Tim Curry is? No, I've never seen the movie. Unbelievable. Tim Curry, I mean, like a baseball player? He's a Rocky Horror Picture. Oh, okay. He's that Which guy. Which person? The main person? Yes, he's the main person that scared you a lot the in the 70s. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they all sing the songs. Yeah, okay. Well, I, I don't know if I've ever watched the whole thing. I don't think I've ever gone to one of those like midnight party screenings. I bet that's a good time. But it's everyone knows time. everything and I don't, so it would be like, eh. Muppets Treasure Island? Yeah, the one thing is I don't really watch stuff. Clue? The no, movie never Clue. Seen Clue. Although, Based off of the board game Clue. No, I know. You know, the British version of Clue is called like... Cluedo. Wait! That must be in the movie then. No. You just know that. I you, just know that. How, how would you know that fact? I, I'm just... I know... I know... I'm good at trivia. And oh, that's I funny. watch a fair amount of British media. Oh, okay. Then there's some logic there then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever well, seen T.Y.? I've not seen it, but I listened to the podcast that the people have. Oh, No Such Thing? No Such Thing as a Fish. I love No Such Thing as a Fish. It's fabulous. It's a great, it's oh a my great God. podcast. Yeah. This has turned into a, an advertisement for No Such Thing as a Fish. Because <laughs> they need it. Because they need it for sure. <laughs> and you don't. I got to take it. Yeah, exactly. So I sign one of these for you? You sign one of those for me, and uh, you keep the other episodes as I All right. I'm going to sign this one with Tim Curry in it so that you remember who Tim Curry is and you watch uh, his oeuvre because... Yeah. It's a fantastic oeuvre. Awesome. Here you go. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank and, you uh, for the Home Alone card. Yeah. Go see live comedy. <laughs> Good. Thank Thanks, you so Dave. much. Here at Hot Fidelity every Thursday, 7 to 9 p.m. Please welcome back David Bacon. David Bacon. You start giving a second. I don't know who that character was. I won't be doing that. Okay, this is a whole probably. I was gonna do my show, but I don't know if I want to. I just wrote something in the fucking. <laughs> the children. Try it on the one. Yeah, try it on the one. Try cursing Ray's the one. Fuck. There we yeah. go. Uh, so, I still want to do the show, but oh well. I'm just gonna do my freaking. This, I just wrote this, so. Uh, bear with me. This word name. I'm sure you are all familiar with Andrew Dub and this is not finished, so it's just going to abruptly end. This way I'll save you time later. I'm sure you're all familiar with Andrew Dice Clay's famous nursery rhymes. 
Okay. <laughs> it's like he, he like did these dirty things. He'd like do like whatever, whatever, uh, penis, uh, fucking whatever, like kind of stuff. Whatever. He just dickery, dickery dog. The penis in the cock? I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. Something really bad. Something like that. Even though, then I would go, yeah, that's what big comedy wants. <laughs> so that's what a big comedy gets. But you don't know it, so big comedy's not as funny as like Big Pharma now. <laughs> it's part of the whole miscommunication agenda. Perhaps you're familiar with that organization. M A oh, oh so let's go. Ma. Nursery rhyme suppression that's been going on since the brothers were around. Not so fast. They're part of the fairy tale division. The silent animals, so it's like once you don't care, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Not nursery rhyme, big difference like black and white. Anyway, they've been suppressing the second verses. See? Take Jack and his floozy Jill just fumbling all over him. Is he a king? Or did he hurt his head? Okay, you know what I'm talking about. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Crown could be crown or your head. Is he hurt? Is he king? We all on the same page. <laughs> Is he king or did he hurt his head? We're left with a conflict. Are they going to be okay? We don't know. I propose, because we don't know the second verse, mm -hmm. this is perfect. No, this, I'm confident, this is the cause of your anxiety. It's been suppressed, the second verse of the nursery rhymes. Kid, you're not going to know. I'm going to tell you the second verse. How much fucking treatment have you been going to? I'm going to save. <laughs> and not only does the suppressed verse two, the real verse two, not only will it elevate your discomforts mentally, that anxiety thing, but it will provide you with some medical knowledge. Big Pharma has been suppressing for many lifetimes. There really is a second verse. Like, that's all. That part's true. Which, of, which of course, has been uh, getting shorter because of such suppression. So here's verse two. I did not write this other than on this paper. There is a verse two. Up Jack got, and home did trot, as fast as he could caper, to old game Dob, who patched his knob with vinegar in brown paper. So! He patched his what? He patched his knob, I know. Isn't that funny that they use the word knob? I think uh, Nickelodeon has made this. Oh. <laughs> so, truth be told, vinegar is a uh, acidic acid that chews up bacteria, yeast, and, and, and scabs. Big Pharma has been suppressing this second verse because they don't want you to use vinegar. It's right there. Plus, now we know he's okay, he's going to survive. No anxiety. Do not. Aren't you? I'm way over time. Thank you so much. Oh, only 34 seconds. Those people that What movie does stand-in character does the stand-in character for Stephen King's Sutter Kane feature in? What? Somebody wrote this for me, by the way, because I don't have to see it again. Uh, Comedians opening cards. No nope. coffee. Oh. Comedians opening cards, no coffee. Comedians opening cards, no coffee. Alright, that's cool. I'll just edit it. Okay. Comedians opening cards, no coffee.
comedians opening cards. No coffee. And what's your band? The Blue Snappers. The Blue Snappers. And we're in Maine, Portland, for the Art Fest. Thank you. Thank you. you guys rock.